Okay, so at first I wasn't sure I was going to make this video because I was like, eh, I do regret this. But I, I wouldn't say it's, it was my most regrettable decision in all of gaming. And I looked up something that I'll t t t tell you about in a minute that made this my worst decision in my or in all of game in all of my gaming, you know, history. And I made some questionable purchases uh, of video games. So yeah, in this bag. This bag right here, this is my most regrettable purchase in all of gaming. Skylanders. Like this bag, if I just unhook the camera from there, it's just full of Skylanders. Every, uh, not every Skylander there is, but um, there's at least one Sky, there's at least one or two Skylanders from each Skylander game. Skylanders, Skylanders Giants, uh, Swap Force, Trap Team, and not the latest one because I fell out of Skylanders at that point. Oh, and there was Racing One. I've also got a couple of um. Yeah, so I've got to at least one Skylander from every game of Skylanders. So that apart from the newest one. Which I never even picked up. And why would I say this is my most regrettable purchase in all of gaming? Well, if here's a, here's if you don't know about Skylanders, they're to, the toy to life genre. Skylanders one loved it. Skylanders Giants loved it. It was a perfect sequel they could have made. Um. It introduced the new Skylanders while not making your previous collection completely null and void because you can bring them into the new game and use them to unlock content. So, if uh, so, basically, if you had played the original Skylanders and had uh, like uh, had bought uh, um, one Skylander of each type, so like magic, fire, water, etc., you could basically unlock everything in the game right off the bat. In Giants, and that was the best thing about it. And in the Skylanders uh, uh, Trap Team and Swap Force, they basically invalidated that with uh, um, the areas which you unlocked using a Skylander of that type. We're only restricted to uh, um, multi type Skylanders, so not only would you have to get um, each one of every type, but it would also be the new. You'd, you'd have to get them of the new expensive swap for Skylanders and in Trap Teams they made it so that only the uh, Trap Team Skylanders, you know, the tr the Skylanders with Traptanium with Traptanium weapons could unlock it. So then you would have to re buy you would have to buy a Traptanium Skylander of every type again to unlock all the contents. Basically making your entire collection previously null and void. You could still use them, but the only point to do that of doing that is the fact that you have them fully upgraded, and they just pretty much they're over leveled, so they just steamroll through everything. Uh, especially in um, Swap Force, where the levels became longer and more tedious to get through. Um, so if I could go back in time and tell my younger self. One thing, it is, stop playing Skylanders after Giants. You buy Giants, you play through it, sell all your Skylanders stuff. Sell them right there and then. Because back then, these would cost, what, 10, 20 quid each. I'm currently on CEX. Skylanders Giant, eyeball figure. Will sell for two pounds fifty. Will buy for forty p. Eighty p voucher. Skylanders Giants frump back figure. Will sell for two pounds. Will uh, buy for thirty p cash. And you know the vouchers double the cash. Skylanders Trap Team Wildfire figure. This guy that I showed you earlier will sell for ten pounds. Will buy cash for four pounds. 
five has just six pounds. That's um, Skyline's trap team jawbreaker figure. We'll sell for four pounds. We'll buy for one pound cash. Uh, we'll buy for voucher one pound sixty. So it's a little over one point five times. Um, Skylanders swap force rattlesnake in the box. We'll sell for two pounds. We'll buy for thirty p. We'll uh, buy for voucher sixty p. Um, but that's not even the worst of it. If I scroll down a little bit here, um, ten p. Ah, here we go. Skylanders swap force hoot loop. We'll sell for one pound. We'll buy for one penny. One p zero pounds point zero one. Uh, Skylanders Giants uh, Flashwing figure. We'll uh, sell for one pound. We'll uh, buy for cash one p. One p. These things you would buy them for ten, ten, twenty quid. Me Anywhere between 10 to 20 quid, brand new. Some of them are only worth one penny of that now. At, at best, you're going at zero, like zero point, you know, like 10 pounds. Let me do the math here. 10 pounds to one penny. Uh, you would have to times that by 10, get a 10, another 10, uh, so 10. That's one thousandth percent of its original worth. One thousandth. Now, is it only me or yeah, am I the only person that thinks that when you sell something to use, um, if it's in working condition um, and it doesn't have any major damage to it, it should be it should be worth at least. Like half of its, uh, you know, you know, re you know, new price, brand new, not one thousandth. I mean, I guess you could explain this down to the point that uh, toys to life genre, that's dead, pretty much, other than amiibos. Even then, amiibos are still going through a bit of a tough time because I don't think uh, Mario Tennis Aces came out with any amiibo support. I know Breath of the Wild did, so that was pretty big for Amiibos, and Odyssey did, so it's still, Amiibos are still getting some love, but still, one thousandth at best, at worst, that's one two thousandth of its original price. Like, Jesus. That, and, so this bag could potentially just be worth, what, ten quid altogether. Yeah, that's why I would just go back in time and tell myself, after after you finish playing Giants, sell everything and don't touch this series ever again. No matter how good the games look, don't touch them. Just get out of the series while you can. Buy Amiibos. Just get all of the Amiibos you can get your filthy little hands on. Just don't buy Skylanders. I mean, um, yeah, I'm still going to have plenty good memories of the original Skylands and Giants. But I don't have room for all of these. And I need to get rid of them, unfortunately. Because um, I haven't really mentioned this, but I'm just in my one little room here. And I haven't got that much space. I'm probably going to get some Amiibos because... Uh, like I said, they're better than Skylanders, and they're more likely to get support in future games than Skylanders. And even if Skylanders do, co do come out with a new game, I, I'm not gonna touch them. Like, uh, I'm just, I've just been burned too much by this. Uh, One thousand. Yeah, no, I'm not touching the Skylanders series ever again. Like, if you wanna. If you saw Skylanders when it first came out, it's was like, eh, that looks alright, but I really don't feel like emptying my bank account to for some little figures. I would advise you right now, if you've never played those games, go get the first Spyro game, get some figures that are compatible with the first Spyro game, 
Because, like, like I've shown you, there's like one P to like one quid, maybe five quid. That quid, well, not even the original Skylanders are even that anymore. Um, and just play it. Like you, essentially, you could get this game for the price of a Happy Meal at McDonald's, plus figures, right now. And yeah, but I wouldn't suggest getting too many because you're gonna have to put them somewhere until either they their price magically goes up, like some people just get extremely nostalgic for it or something, but I can't hold out for that. Like my wardrobe, half of my wardrobe right now is empty boxes. From like Switch, Pro Controllers, just NES Classic, S N E S Classic, um I have a gaming cabinet that's full of gold player Pokemon cards, bits and bobs, a few PS1 games, some controllers, and on top of that I've got an old CRTV, a VR headset for my mobile phone, um, a GTA 5 book, a Atari 7800, and a Mewtwo and Bowser Amiibo, so I can't put them on there. That table's just full of like consoles, a fan... Uh, the previous mentioned SNES and NES Classic. That over there has got the Xbox One, the Wii, and then I've got my TV, and that's all just full. I just have nowhere to put these right now, and I need to get rid of them. So, um, I'm going to go to game, hopefully tomorrow, and see how much I can get for them, and maybe use that money to get some Amiibos, but, oh my god, I'm... Oh, this is just the most regrettable thing I've ever done in my life, or in, in gaming, just ever, like, in gaming, this is the most regrettable thing I've done in gaming. Like, I think the most regrettable thing I've done in my life is not ask out a girl that I fancied uh, back in, um, primary school. Yeah, that's probably the most regrettable thing I've done in my life. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, right, so, and the, the moral of the story is, don't buy anything after Skylanders Giants. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, press F to pay, pay respects and see how painful it's going to be for me to just, like, dump all of this onto games, onto, in front, in game, and then for just, like, yeah, but pretty, pretty much all we can give you is like ten pounds for the entire bag, and it's just like I spend like ten pounds on one of these things, and now you're just gonna say like ten pounds for the entire, yeah. So, oh, press F to pay respects to my heart that is going to shatter into a billion trillion pieces when I find out how little I'm gonna get. For all that money I spent all those years ago on Skylanders. Right, this this makes me want to go into research and time travel just so I could go back and have it just like, oh god, please, please don't spend them. Oh, I'm right. I am the one thing I am thankful for in all of this. I didn't buy that many trap team. I didn't buy that many swap force. I didn't buy that many of the overdrive things. This is mainly Giants and the first generation of Skylanders. So, thankfully, I didn't get too many of them. Because I think that, from what I've seen, those are the ones that are doing pretty much the worst right now. Like, yeah, two quick... Uh, oh, yeah, swap for... Oh, yeah, yeah, one P... One P for Skylanders Imaginators Golden Queen figure. Golden Queen was one of the more popular characters. Oh my god. Oh, oh my. I should stop looking at this because it's. They, they won't even buy Tree Rex from Skylanders Giants. It's like, we will sell it for 10p. 10p! They're not even buying Tree Rex. Oh my god, that's one of the ones I've got as well. I should stop looking at this. Looking at this is just pure torture. Oh my god, I have so much regret right now. Okay, I am just closing that.
I'm never looking at that ever again. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, this is a look of someone when they've just made the worst. Well, they, they when they've realized that a mistake they made years ago is going to be the worst, biggest fuck up financially they've ever done. That's sweet. Oh my god. Oh, no, not asking that girl out in primary school doesn't seem so bad by comparison. Oh my god. Oh, one million. Oh, oh. 